Oh man, that curry goat was delicious. <laughs> oh my lord, rice and peas, let's go. Wagwan people, it is I, Sal Baus, back again with an OU match for you today. Today it is going to be against Mr. Mister Mew72. Yes, that's right. And yeah, it's an OU match and I've got a new team for you guys. So just to... See, there's black and white too. It's just around the corner this weekend actually. So very exciting, very exciting. And so I figure, you know, make one more team before everyone's spamming Keldio, myself included in that. And I'm thinking, the one weapon that I haven't used properly is Sun. So I thought, I've used Hail since, yeah, Hail, blah, blah. Sand, Rain is pretty much standard. But Sun I've never really used effectively, I felt, seeing as I'm not exactly the most offensive player. I'm more defensive, so I thought, hey, how about a Sun Store team? And so this is what I present to you today, my final black and white team. I'd like to give a shout out quickly to BKC for finally me showing me the ways of Fortress because I never really liked it in Gen 4 because I always use Skarmori. Gen 4 mentality. And also Tony for testing it out for me. So yeah, with that being said, let's look at Team Pre very quickly. I've got... Oh, and this is from Mr. Mew72's point of view because like an idiot I forgot to record it. But I'm at the top with the Nine Tails, you know, Son of User, Inducer, sorry. He trying is pretty much staple on any good Sun team, I I personally believe, because Flash Fire is a fire immunity. Then you got Lati Ass, which is actually pretty good in um for rain actually, against Rainstall and against Polito because I can't really my team can sometimes be weak to when it's not when the sun isn't shining basically. Then I've got Fortress as the Spiker, or he trans most of my stealth rocker by the way. I've got Venusaur, Sub-Sea Venusaur is an absolute monster as you've already seen in my previous quick upload. And then you've got Snorlax actually. So I know you're thinking, oh Sour, you're trying to be cool, oh you got Snorlax, oh you're so hipster. No, no, no. F fuck that. <laughs> fuck that shit. No, actually Snorlax is very good for Latios and Latias actually. Seeing as Latios pretty much demolishes my team, if it just comes in, Dracos or HP Fires put it to my Fortress Switch. Rinse and repeat, so yeah, pretty weak to dragons as all sun teams usually are. So Snorlax is pretty much my way of countering that and you'll see why in this match as my opponents does have a pretty solid team actually, I'm not going to lie. I was quite surprised actually seeing as I don't really expect this on Wi-Fi. Got a Heatran, Jellicent and Ferrothorn, so Firewater Grass Core, as well as the Ferrocent Core as well. Plus there's also Dragon Steel Water which was pretty good in OU. I remember, and then there's also Teraki on Big Threat, but yeah, you can clearly see that I've already listed out as Latias and Teraki on our huge, huge threats to the team, as well as the Heatran as well. Could be problematic if I don't play around with it, but I'm just going to lead off with my Nine Tails, just predicting him to. Well, actually, not really predicting anything, seeing as he does have a Weather Inducer, so I'm just going to lead off with Nine Tails. Figuring he's probably going to lead off with either. Terrakion, Heatran, one of those two probably. So yeah, without further ado, let's get on with the show. Huh, I just got a text message. Always hollering me when I'm ever starting narration, honestly. Anyway, as I said before, I am on the other side of the screen, of the side, yeah. the bleh, 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 already fucking up, okay. I've got my Night Tails, he's got the Heat Train. He's gonna go for the Fire Blast, probably predicting me to switch out into my either Latias or Snorlax, I believe, because obviously not a Heat Train, because why we gave a Flash Fire Boost. I'm just gonna go for the Solar Beam, predicting him to just go for the Stealth Rocks, as I just wanna break his balloon, as I'm just gonna switch out into my Heat Train, predicting an Earth Power, as he does put up his own rocks, as seeing as his balloon is broken and mine is intact, he's gonna be fearing the Earth Power, as he's gonna switch out into Jellison. I'm gonna go for my Stealth Rocks. Right here and now. And now here are two things I could have done. I could have went into my Latias or the Venusaur which I go into now. Latias to take either the Scold but he could have taunted the next turn as my Latias is the refresh set so if he did get the Scald I could just refresh that off but I actually instead go into my Venusaur risking a burn. I do not get it which is excellent. He's going to be fearing the, gra yeah, the Grass Stab as he's going to be switching out into his Ferrothorn as I go for a Substitute. And now he makes uh, quite a few good plays actually. He switches out into Heatran, predicting the HP fire, as most Venusaurs do carry that. And now he's going to double switch again into the 
Fairfall and predicted my sleep power, so that was a very good move on his part. I didn't realise, um, so I'm not sure, wasn't really sure if he knew the set I was running, but he obviously did and he made the very good play. Seeing as Fairfall against Sun is pretty much death order anyway, so he's got a sleep order now and he's going to switch out into his Heatran once again. I do know that he's going to do that, so I'm not going to go for the HP fire again, as I'm just going to go for the Elite C. Stealth Rock is starting to rack up, as you'll see, since I only got for Solar Beam, which is times 4 resisted by Heatran. Stealth Rock damage is racking out as I'd go, yeah, just go for the Elite Seed. Do it again because I really have nothing else better to do, as he's going to go for a Fire Blast, which does hit miraculously. If that was me, you damn well no sure I would have missed that, definitely. <laughs> anyway, I'm just going to keep on subseeding him until he decides to switch out, basically. As he does now into his Jellicent. Since I know he's, I'm just going to go for Elite Seed once again because that's the only thing I really think I can do as he is going to go for the Taunt as I figured he would. I'm not one of those people that says, oh, I predicted the Taunt because no, I, when I say I actually did think he'd go for the Taunt, I actually mean it. Not one of those people that say, oh, I predict something even though it's already played out. I don't know what I'm trying to say here, but basically, yeah, as I'm going to switch out into my Latias. Why did I do that? Oh yeah, thinking that he would go into Heatran once again because... I've already shown him my whole moveset, Substitute, Leech Seed, Sleep Powder and HP Fire. Because I'm taunted, the only attacking move I have is HP Fire. So he's going to go into his Heatran to get the Flash Fire boost. But I do switch out into my Latias just to combat the Heatran and take him out with a Dragon Pulse from that range. As he brings out his Terrakion which is a huge threat. I figured he's probably Choice Scarf the way he brought it in. So that means that he's going to go for the X Sizzle. But he makes a great double switch and switches out into his Latias as I go into my Fortress. And now Latias, as I said before already, is a huge threat. Huge threat. So I'm not messing about right here. I'm going to go into my Snorlax as he's going to get up a Calm Mind. Because he switched out into Latias, I'm figuring Calm Mind, maybe HP Fire, possibly. Or it could be Calm Mind Raw. But I'm going to go into Snorlax Special Wall as it's pretty much moment of truth here. Is he going to predict my choice bandit pursuit? No, he is not. That was a key play right there because if he stayed in and just went for a calm mind again, that I think that could have been GG right there and there. So, <laughs> very, very thankful right there. As I'm going to switch out into my Nine Tails as he brings the Terrakion as Death Fodder actually. I was thinking he'd go for the Stealth, yeah, Stone Edge. But actually, goes for the X's or predicting my Lati Ass. Which is fine by me, seeing as as soon as Ninetales gets the weather up, it's already Death Fodder. As I'm just going to go for the Flamethrower, figuring he'd want to switch out into his Lati Ass once again. Just to try and go for a cover, I will not give him that satisfaction or the chance to do that. And that's a big threat out of the way. And the only threat now, still, is the Terrakion. Heatran's gone, Lati Ass is gone. And now all that's left is Terrakion, so he's going to go for the Stone Edge, does hit and takes out my Ninetales, but Ninetales, as I said before, is pretty much fodder as soon as it wins the Weather Wall, as I'm going to switch out into my Fortress. Going to predict him to switch out into the Jellison, because he can taunt me to stop me laying out some spikes and block the Rapid Spin, as I'm just going to Volt Switch, as I just previously stated, which makes that redundant. As I am going to switch out into my Lassie Ass. And now here I'm just going to get a Calm Mind as he's going to go for the Taunt. As that is, that pretty much is the only thing he can do. As he's either going to stay in and recover Stormy or he's going to switch out into the Sizzle onto my Dragon Pulse. I figured that's, oh no wait, it's next turn, sorry. Well, I'm figuring that anyway as he's going to go for the Will-O-Wisp just to start crippling me now or start to get some residual damage as now I'm figuring he's either going to switch out, stay in and recover off because Jellison could be a key factor later on as Venusaur is, Venusaur is walled by it pretty much as I could either switch out into Venusaur or the Heatran and predicting the Sizzle switch or I could just stay in and get some good damage off on the Sizzle. Hindsight that was probably the I thought it was probably that I switch out, but again, I didn't want the Jellicent to get up to full health. So, yeah. Yeah, hindsight's hindsight. But basically, I'm in a bad position right now, as I did think if I did stay in and get some damage off with the Sizzle, I'd be locked. I'd be pretty much um, in a situation where either I have to predict the U-turn, Bullet Punch, or the Pursuit, which I'm figuring it's Choice Banded right now. 
And... Yes, I do call it correctly. I figured... No, I called it correctly basically. I figured he didn't wouldn't go for the pursuit. As we were talking, I think I got this on Wild Chase's stream actually. Which is surprising that I'm even on Wild Chase's stream. <laughs> but yeah. And I called it correctly. So Latias lives to fight another day. As I'm going to switch out into Fortress. As he reveals that he is life orbs. I'm not sure why he goes for the pursuits actually. I think he um, forgot how the mechanics of pursuit works, but it was better off for him going for the superpower anyway. But also there I should have probably started laying up some spikes as that was the perfect situation as you'll see why that's why I say that as I'm just gonna go for the earth power, not risking the fire blast miss because fuck that. As he's gonna bring the Terrakion, I do stay in thinking he may predict me to switch out into Latias again, but he's in a pretty bad position right now. As yeah, he's gonna just pretty much annihilates my Heatran. I hindsight again I should have went into Latias as you'll see why as soon as I start fucking up because I'm going not cocky but a bit too safe basically. Uh, so I'm just going for Dragon Pulse knowing that he's gonna switch out into the Ferroform but I didn't do that anyway which was dumb move on my part as I should have just went right for the refresh as what I should have done here is when the Terrakion was out, I should have went for the refresh on the Ferrothorn switch and then switch out into my freaking magic Venusaur or the yeah thing magic. What the hell is that? That's not a Pokemon. <laughs> what are you talking about? Go to the Venusaur and just go for HP Fire or Leech Seed, one of the two, or go into my Fortress just to set up some spikes. Or if I had the Heatran left, I could have went for a Fire Blast and annihilated anything on the Switch. So guys, I believe Terrakion, it's been a while actually since I battled. Terrakion takes, I think half in Sun actually from Timid's max Heatran. So yeah, but I didn't do that so I don't know what I'm even talking about. I'm staying in like an idiot, going for the Calm Mind as he does get up a Leech Seed. As you, and as you did see right now, or we've already seen, he has Thunderwave, Theraphorn, Theraphorn, Theraphorn. <laughs> Don't cuss my accent, please. Which annoys the hell out of me. I hate Theraphorn running Thunderwave. If you run Theraphorn with Thunderwave, or Chansey with Thunderwave, or Blissey with Thunderwave, you're a fucking batty man. Get the hell out of the. Oh my lord. So annoying. God damn it. I hate having to scout out for that shit. It's so. Bloody annoying. Get out of here. It's too much. It's just too much. Anyway, I'm just trying to somehow salvage anything right now as I'm fucking up here doing the calm mind, etc. etc. As I was telling myself, even when I was battling, I told to myself, don't judge, that you're not gonna win this car this you're not gonna win this war with Ferrothon. I don't even know why you're even trying to set up. You but anyway, I finally find a window of opportunity as he's just keep going for a power whip. I'm going to switch out into my Venusaur. Thankfully, he does not predict that and I can somehow finish this, hopefully finish this up as I'm going to go for a substitute, blocking the Thunder Wave, go for HP Fire as I am just going to go for a Sleep Powder again just so he doesn't start taunting me because this thing is annoying. Jellison was actually kind of a threat even though because it is a Stall Breaker, although it is, I am in the sun and Jellicent Scald is taken off, it is still a Stall Breaker which is why and mine is a Stall Team, so yeah. Just going to go for the Leech Seed as I do put fast asleep, as I am just going to get some Leech Seed recovery, as I'm just going to go for a Thunder Wave as soon as all these after turn effects finish up. As he's going to go into the Terrakion, as I'm just going to go for another HP Fire, not really predicting anything, because I don't really need to at this moment in time. That was a reasonable chunk, I guess, in the sun as well. As he's going to go for the X's, as I am going to go for a Leech Seed. And now here, for some strange reason, I I honestly can't tell you, this was a bad move on my part. I shouldn't have not... I'm I'm the defensive sub seeds being a source set, so I can obviously take a Choice Scarf Terrakion's X's all, but... I switch out for some unknown reason. I do not know why. I I, I honestly can't tell you. I am so sorry. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm not sorry. I'm never, so, I'm never sorry. <laughs> anyway, gotta get some Lee recovery from the Fortress, from the Terrakion, as I'm just gonna set up some spies because 
he keeps switching out because I, I was getting so annoyed. I thought he'd leave this thing in because it's over. <laughs> Please. Oh my lord. I thought he was gonna just leave this raccoon in, but he's adamant, no nature, and just dragging this out, so yeah. So as you all see, he actually could have um, salvaged something back if he kept getting stonish crits with the Terrakion. Spoilers. But yeah, he's gonna go for Thunder Wave as he's just gonna go. Yeah, so I'll go for low spikes. Go for another layer of spikes as he goes for a T Wave and Leaf Seeds. And now I know he's gonna switch out into his Terrakion because who? Yeah, because he can't. Because Terrakion can't live three levels of spikes. As I'm just gonna go for a Jarble and knock that thing right out of the park. Goodbye, Terrakion. No. Fuck Thunder Wave Theraphorn. God. Oh. So, yeah. My fortress dies. Save blood. <laughs> and, yeah, um, this pretty much do or die right here and now as he's gonna go for the Stone Age and miss. Thank you. Things should be dead already. Do not care. I want to win anyway, even if I didn't get the hacks. No, wait. If I didn't, if I didn't get hacks, then I wouldn't even be talking about this anyway right now. That Stone Age today does too much. God damn. As I go for HP Power, does kill finally, and we can pretty much wrap this up right here and now. So that's a good game, Mr. Mew Center 2. Had quite a lot of fun actually, it's the first time testing this team out on Wi Fi because, yeah. I'm actually having quite a lot of fun with this team anyway, seeing as it's gonna be pretty much obsolete after Black and White 2 comes out. Maybe, it might, it might be still relevant, who knows, but yeah. Anyway, all I can say is thank you very much for watching, seeing as this looks like, what, 17 minutes? God damn. Man, I don't know how I can love um, Star Wars, but yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, subscribe to or like my Facebook in the description below. And as always, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the other side.